All right, hey everybody, Warthog43 here, and welcome back to another NR2000, 2003 tutorial video. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add ticker mods to NASCAR Racing 2003 season. So, NASCAR Racing 2003 season has been around, uh, around for quite a while now, for at least a decade or so, and a few years. So, they add some pretty nice features to the game. So, um, like, like for example, the wrecks, spotters, all that. But yeah. Anyway, I'm about to show you guys what um, one feature that they didn't add, and that is tickers. Um, so this is what this video is going to be about. I'm not sure if anybody else has done this before. So yeah, this is official for 2021. So um, before we get into this video, um, I need to show you guys what a ticker is. So. If you guys are unsure of what a ticker is in a specific motorsport or NASCAR if you just watch it, a ticker is like a leaderboard that displays a driver's name, their car number, what position they're in, and how many seconds far back they are, including how many laps have been completed, where they are, and what kind of series it is. So yeah, um, a ticker can be shown either um, horizontally or basically vertically, for example, like in this one right here. And yeah, um, NASCAR has been using tickers for so many years, and it's very important to the sport to show where the drivers are, what their number is, because without tickers, we wouldn't know exactly what position they would be in, what their car number is, or what their name would be. So yeah, it's a pretty good thing that NASCAR has been adding tickers, and they've been customizing them. So yeah, and I'm also recording with OBS for the first time, so I hope this works out. Anyway... Um, like I said, NASCAR has been using tickers for so many years. Um, the ticker can change on how it looks like depending on what sports broadcast they're using. So if you see a ticker like this, that means NASCAR is probably running on NBCN or um, NBC Sports if you guys watch it. And here is one that has been used since 2013 to 2014. This one has been Fox Sports and Fox Sports 1. NASCAR has been changing their tickers throughout the decades and it has been pretty serious since then. I really do like the tickers because it's been pretty cool. And yeah, I'm about to show you guys how to add a ticker into the game. So, without fur um, any further ado, let's begin. So the first website that you want to go to for a ticker is that you want to go to AdRacingDesigns.com. I'll leave a link down in the description below for that website. And what you want to do is that you want to find the UIE 2013 Complete Collection Edition. Once you're here, you can scroll all the way down. And here's the download. Click I agree to the terms and conditions and download now. Now, for this video to be a lot um, way more quicker, I have already downloaded the mod um, just for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to head over to my files. And there it is, the UIE 2013 Complete Collection Edition mod. So, what you want to do, open up um, what kind of extractor you're using. I'm, I'm personally using WinRAR. I suggest you do the same thing. Anyway, um, once you're in, so once you're in here, you want to head over, what, hold on. So, once uh, you come over here, you want to open it. You then want to head over to Layout Files, and then... You want to stop right here. We're then going to go over to Racing Layouts first. And then we're going to go down here to Tickers. And here are all the tickers um, that NASCAR has been using for over years now. So um, what you want to do is to first you want to figure out which ticker you want to use. You want to choose wisely. And we are going, um, personally, I've been watching Fox on NASCAR for a while. So we're going to choose Fox. And here has been how many years NASCAR has been using Fox. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select top underscore 2013 Fox 1 and here is a LYT folder and what you wanna do is that you wanna head over to your files and then you're gonna go over to this PC local disk C Papyrus NASCAR race in 2003 season and then layout and then what you wanna do we're gonna window this a little bit and uh, um, first thing is, is that I forgot to show something else. One thing is that you want to add the 2013 UI, UIE enchantment mod. That's where you're going to store all your racing layouts, uh, menu layouts, and all that kind of stuff. So what you want to do is to drag this folder into your layout folder in NASCAR Racing 2003 season. Of course, I already done so, so we don't, uh, we don't need to do that. And the next thing is, like I said, you want to go over to layouts, racing layouts ticker 
and select what kind of ticker you want to use for your um, NR2003 simulation. Fox, then 2013, Fox Sports 1. You're going to drag this driving.lyt folder into your layout. Already done so, so it can be way quicker. And once you do that, you're going to go back, and then you're going to take this driving.win folder and drag it here into your uh, into your layout folder and that's going to um, be one part of the process the next thing is well let me explain to, uh, what we just did there for the racing layouts that's going to show you exact um, the ticker is going to pop up whenever you're racing for example like single race multiplayer all that stuff um, we're next um, next we're going to go to replay yet layouts and you're going to go to here classic ext extended Fox and then you're going to take this full replay.lyt folder and drag it into your layout folder for NASCAR Racing 2003 season. Then you're going to also take this, put it in there. It may ask to replace the file. Of course, you want to hit yes. And then that is basically it. So um, that's basically it for that. Now we can go ahead and check. I, I want to make sure UBS OBS is still running. All right. Next, we're going to head over to NASCAR Racing 2003 season. This is going to be the important part because, of course, you want to check to see if it's running. Otherwise, you'll never know it will be in game, and then you're probably going to put a dislike on this video, which is not what I want. I want to help all you guys out on, what you're, on your situations here. All right, so now that we're in, uh, since we're going to make this quicker, we're going to go into testing session. You can go there if you want to, and then we're going to select uh, just a regular track. So we're just going to go to Atlanta. And then we're going to hit continue, and um, we're going to have to see if it's in there. So we're going to drive for a little bit. Well, not really. And, oh, that's really loud. And as you can see, this is the ticker that we added. So the 2013 Fox Sports 1 ticker, this is it. As you can see, it says Fox Sports 1. That is the ticker that you want to see. And, my, and the engine is really loud, so... Yeah, so this is the ticker that we just added. Uh, it, it, sh it should show up on the top right here. So, yeah. Um, you also want to hit H to see if it changed. So, yeah. And then, for the replay, I'm going to hit View Replay. And as you can see, there is our Fox Sports 1 ticker. That is the one that we want. And, basically, that's how it shows up. Fox Sports 1, Lap Info. It looks way better than the original. Well, not really original because NASCAR Racing 2003 season hasn't added ticker yet. But yeah, that's what uh, that's what it should show. And if you guys want to add, uh, if you guys want to change a ticker, do the same process. But instead, um, take out those driving and replay files and replace it with another one that you want to add in there, and it should change. So, for example, you want to switch over to NBC Sports to. Um, Excuse me. So you want to switch over to NBC to uh, so you want to switch over to Fox to NBC Sports. You can go ahead and take that NBC um, Racing LYT folder, and then you want to replace it, and then you can delete the Fox a spot Fox Sports One folder. And yeah, that's basically about it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If it did, be sure to like, subscribe, comment. And yeah, turn on post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. I'm probably going to post another NASCAR Racing 2003 season tutorial, and that will be how to throw out yellow flags on command. So be sure to look out for that. And um, furthermore, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.